Hi, I'm Scott Walker. My opponent has a new TV ad up that attacks our record. Let's check out the facts. First, the county actually had a budget surplus of $7 million last year. In contrast, the state of Wisconsin already has a $652 million budget deficit. My opponent was one of just 16 people on the budget writing committee, and she voted for that state budget less than six months ago, and it's already got a deficit. Next, the ad mentions transit. The single largest factor affecting transit ridership was a change that NPS made a few years ago that goes from weekly passes to daily tickets. That change alone accounts for some 2.5 million fewer rides counted by the transit system even though it doesn't affect riders. As Paul Harvey would say, that's the rest of the story. And Taylor doesn't want to tell you her way to fund the transit system is to raise the sales tax and she's even open to extending the stadium district tax past its deadline to support transit and light rail. Next, the ad shows a headline about me wanting to save three million dollars in the parks. What it fails to mention is that that change would actually add, that's right, add nearly 20,000 more hours of work in our parks. On safety, she talks about the House of Corrections, but fails to mention that the county asked for the report and that most of the changes are already done. Maybe that's because she doesn't want you to look at her record on public safety. She's stalling action on a bill that would increase penalties for those trying to illegally sell guns that she wants 17 year olds not to go to prison. I think that's just wrong. Then her ad puts up a headline from an endorsement in the Capital Times from Madison. I don't know about you, but apparently the liberals in Madison are more important to her than the taxpayers in Milwaukee. Just like the candidate, the ad doesn't tell you what she'll do in office. She doesn't have a plan, but she does seem to have one constant theme. That's raising taxes. There's a real difference in this race. I invite you to check out the facts at scottwalker.org and don't be fooled on April 1st.